conservation of biodiversity is becoming an issue of increasing social and ecological significance. Happy tendencies aside, how can we save the species we love and the species we rely on to survive before they disappear? Most government-funded conservation measures for threatened species are based on recovery plans. What actually is a recovery plan? Simply put, a recovery plan is a document that outlines the actions and their costs proposed to protect threatened and rare species. The Australian Government requires that all species listed have a written recovery plan. But in reality, only a third feature in single or multi-species recovery plans. Even more species have been left off the list, remain unknown or unprotected. <music> Benefits of using recovery plans include To identify key threats and propose strategies for their mitigation To facilitate research To increase community and stakeholder awareness an example of a successful recovery plan is the white-bellied frog, Geocrinia alba. However, several drawbacks of recovery plans include They are time and cost ineffective, as they only conserve a small proportion of threatened species at high cost. They're often complex, ambiguous and overly ambitious. And the conservation objectives can be either unrealistic or vague. Community opposition or disagreement between stakeholders as well as adverse environmental conditions like fire can hinder success of recovery plans. There is often a lack of initial research and no guarantee of success despite resource allocation. So how effective are recovery plans? For example, the Gilbert's Pottery recovery plan was unsuccessful due to an estimated cost of over $20 million with no change in conservation status. While thousands of other species, mostly plants and invertebrates, remain threatened and largely unknown with no funds allocated to their research or conservation. Overall, single species recovery plans have limited effectiveness and multi species recovery plans can overcome some but not all of the shortfalls. Moreover, according to a study by Watson et al. 2011, any change in a species conservation status was independent of whether or not a recovery plan was written. But is there a more effective method to saving Australia's endangered species?